When does a Noachite become fully responsible for his actions? At what age do you start to be accountable for your actions? And it shall be at the end of the days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be firmly established at the top of the mountains, and it shall be raised above the hills, and all the nations shall stream to it. And many people shall go, and they shall say, Come, let us go up to the Lord's mount, to the house of the God of Jacob, and let him teach us of his ways, and we will go in his paths. For out of Zion shall the Torah come forth, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Shalom and greetings from Jerusalem. Another video of the serious cycle of life who is giving us rhythms for life and explaining how the Noahide could be accountable for every person in this world in a positive way. What does it mean to be a bar or bat mitzvah? It means that a person is then obligated to, to do God's commandments and is worthy of performing them. Bar Mitzvah, he is in a stage of the commandments. Jewish tradition said this at the age 13 for boys and 12 for girls, at the time that they can give life to others, just like they got life for free. Before this time, in the Jewish, he is not considered legally responsible. He is not obligated on the mitzvot. After reaching this age, they are entirely responsible. Again, this is a time where they can give back life like they got for free, they're giving back life. As an adult, they can expect to get a punishment or punished for sins. If they're doing sin, they will get punishment. We might ask, when does a Noachite become obligated to perform God's commandments? The same age? When does a Noachite become fully responsible for his actions? what we call bar or bat mitzvah, the, the situation of obligated to do those mitzvot? This will be an essential question. I will give an example, okay, for why. Uh, there are two differences that we can understand why it's always important. For example, when the courts are established in due time, hopefully soon, to judge people according to the seven commandments of the Noahide. Only and the age that is being bow bat mitzvah. In addition, another way, when does a person begin to feel that his actions bring him closer to the God? Okay, to God. The rabbis disagree about this in the Alachi literature. Okay, some rabbis, first opinion, they say that the rule is the same like Jewish. Responsibility begins at the age of 13 for boys, 12 for girls. In the second opinion that we know, others says that uh, any child who understands what a commandment is, commandment mitzvah, okay, getting connected with God, mitzvah is from the word team, he already understands he is obligated. There is a third opinion, that of Rabbi Cook, and he said, that the age is different for every society. And wise men from those societies, not the Hebrew people, should establish the proper period for acceptance of God's commandments in their societies. And uh, I can share with you that Noahide communities worldwide have asked Rabbi Uri Sherki, the rabbi, the president of the Noahide World Center, great rabbi in Israel, very appreciated, and they, they asked him, when exactly is the time? And he answered differently, depending on their background and the society. For example, when a community in the Philippines asked, the answer, is, the answer was that the, the proper age is 14, 15, where a person begins to support his family at this age. In Canada, for example, on the other side, it will be the age of 17 since maturity in the Western world is later than the maturity in the Eastern world. When a person reaches an age when he is obligated or begins to take responsibility for his life, they have reached the age of Bar or Bat Mitzvah. 
This is how Rabbi Cook is putting it, and Rabbi Sherki organized it in a lachic way. We think that a committee can set up a criteria for spiritual and physical mature, maturity and the ability to accomplish goals, and they will establish the average age for that specific culture that they are inside it. It's more related to the sages of this specific uh, culture. Now, what should be done on the day of the Bar Mitzvah? Again, the rhythms of life, what to do? On the day of Bar Mitzvah, Bar Mitzvah, it is good to perform God's commandment for the first time as an obligation. I will give an example. In, in the Hebrew tradition, in the Hebrew society, um, the boy is putting on tefillin when he's praying on this specific day. He is practicing this um, beforehand, much before, in 30 days before that or something, or two months. But the first time he performs the commandments as an obligated is on the day of the Bar Mitzvah and we're doing a celebration. But it's not a good example because in the Noahide, we do not put filling. They didn't went out the Noahide from Egypt and they cannot take this specific commandment. So we have seen that the Holy One, blessed be He, said the following about our patriarch Abraham, the father of all people who want to come closer to the God of Israel who created this world. And he said like that, For I know him, Abraham, that he will teach his sons and his household after him to follow the path of God and to give charity and follow justice. And the Talmud drives from this specific verse that Noahides is required to give charity and to be kind. So here's an idea. The Bar Mitzvah boy or group of boys or girls can perform a good deed on this day. They can do an act of kindness like taking care of needy people or those who need support. It could be done, for example, as in a, a ceremony of performing a good deed for the community on that specific day. To do something that is outside of him, of them, not to think, you know, in a way only about themselves. It will be also worthwhile for the young person who know, who now understands that he should uh, observe God's commandments of Noahide to give a lecture. We can prepare this in behind, in, up front. And in this lecture, we'll explain issues like acceptance of God's commandments, faith in God, love for all humanity, and the unique role of Israel in the world of being the connection between man and God. And thanks, Israel, for doing all of those things in this world, a long history. Another common thing that uh, you can do is to give presents to the Bar Bat Mitzvah and distribute sweets to the guests that are coming to this uh, celebration or to this mentioned day that we're doing. One more possible activity is to have a festive meal for your family, for your friends, okay? Don't exaggerate with too much expenses and food. It's not a wedding and more than a wedding. Be a bit, you know, to mention it's one thing, to exaggerate is another thing. People have tendency to, to spend more than necessary, but exaggerating is not good in any case. One more very exciting thing that we can do is, uh, it's an idea again, something from the shelf of the Hebrew nation you can take, is to buy a new item of clothing and to have the bar bat means the boy girl to applause God with a blessing like that. Blessed are you, God, the Creator and King of the universe, who have caused me to live, sustained me, and brought me to this day. To do such an act in front of people, of the family and people that like him, or friends of you, 
such an act, such an action will help to engrave and to put the occasion to the boy girl's mind and they bring them to a positive memory to help build up the personality and identity of those kids that are growing up. And now that we have grown up and we took some responsibility in our shoulders, some will ask, how can we grow even further, be greater than ourselves? And on this issue and more, we will answer in our next Cycle of Life video. And you are more than welcome to join us. Blessings from Jerusalem. See you all. Bye.